Hello friends. Many a times in life, you must have seen people just walking out from their families, leaving their businesses, and they take a different path, what we call as liberation, moksha, and it is also known as you becoming a sannyasi. Now, what could be the reason or how can we find out from a horoscope? Like, yes, this is a horoscope that says the planetary movement and the planetary placement says <clears throat> that this particular horoscope is a horoscope of a sannyasi. To know this better, <clears throat> in today's presentation, I am here to explain to you a yoga. I shall be talking about a yoga that is a yoga of sannyasi or tapasvi. So let's begin with, begin with this presentation. Friends, ascetics or sannyasi or you can call as tapasvi is a yoga. It's when you, it's like a renunciation and leaving the society and you know getting into a search something which is unknown and ultimately what happens in your life is that you become a, you take a sannyas or you get into tapa or tapasya the sannyasi or the tapasvi yoga is created in you and it, it draws you to something that we call as consciousness within you. Now you can see <clears throat> in this next slide what causes a tapasvi or sannyasi yoga. See this is basically a condition <clears throat> or a combination which indicates the choice of a specific type of sannyas. The order that you will join or the favorite deity you will uh, worship or the favorite mantras that you will chant and you will continue as an ascetic or return back to the society etc. It also gives you the condition which have to be satisfied for all this to happen. Sanyas can be said to be successful only and only if you are able to stick to a path till you attain or till you gain moksha. In astrology, there are different branches out of, we are all known about Parashari system, there is something called Jaimani. Now Jaimani Sutra or Jaimani uh, system of astrology, what it says, if the Karakamsha is with Ketu and has, a, has an aspect of Saturn, he will become a Tapasvi and he will leave the society or maybe he is independent or dependent and a servant under somebody. The Karakamsha with Ketu and aspected by Saturn is a Tapasvi Yoga in your chart. Let us understand, let us learn the basic conditions that are required for this Yoga. And I am giving you with an example. For example, suppose that in your chart, in your D1 chart, there is a planet with the highest degree which is known as Atma Karaka. Right? Now, it could be Mars as you can see in the slide which is in Leo sign with 28 degrees and hence it is your Atma Karaka. Now, 
what is the other condition this you will understand in the next slide now you know that in leo sign mars is at 28 degrees now we have we know that mars is a atma karaka we have to shift our focus from d1 chart to d9 chart and in d9 chart check where mars is placed so maybe mars is shifted or in navamsa in navamsa it is in the sign of libra then libra is your karakamsa and it is occupied by the atma karaka now come back from d9 chart to d1 chart now we know that the atma karaka is in libra so that become your karakamsa what you need to do now in your d1 chart in the lagna chart locate the sign libra and you have to bring that libra as the lagna fine i am repeating look for the atma karaka in d9 chart in d9 chart if you find the atma karaka mars in libra libra becomes your karakamsa come back to d1 chart rotate your chart bring the karakamsa that is the the libra on top and from there we will look what is actually happening check if saturn check if saturn is in the sign of taurus or it is in the sign of leo or it is in the sign of aquarius which means that it is aspecting the ketu in libra according to jaimini sutra now please remember in jaimini there is a different way of looking at the aspect it is not like in the parashari system so we have to see that in karakamsha there has to be the first condition is there has to be ketu this ketu has to be aspected by saturn for this yoke to form at the first place if these conditions are satisfied this will cause a tapasvi yoke combination now to explain to you even more deeper i'll take you to the next slide in this chart what is in front of you this is a lagna chart d1 chart you can see this chart has got lagna as aries saturn is placed in the sign of taurus mars is placed in the sign of leo as i mentioned you earlier also and it is at 28 degrees which means it is atma karaka because all the other planets have not attained 28 degrees then ketu is in the sign of libra understand this first now this is the lagna chart coming back to the next chart that is a chart this is the navamsh or d9 chart now we only have to understand i have not mentioned any other planets over here we have to only find out the karakamsha so we'll see that mars which is atma karaka is in navamsh in the sign of libra i hope you understood this this libra sign we will bring it as i said on top and we will make it as the lagna but actually it is known as a karakamsha chart this is a kar karakamka chart which means that in d9 where where mangal was placed we have rotated the chart to bring libra at the first house now ketu is placed over here now you see saturn in this chart is in the 8th house and mars mangal originally in d1 chart as it was it is in the sign of leo now you may ask me a question how is that saturn is looking at ketu because saturn has got three aspect it looks at the third house seventh house and the tenth house but here we have to understand we are not talking about saturn's aspect we are talking about the sign aspect 
which you will understand in the next slide. See, in Jaimini system, the sign aspects are very different from the Parashari system. And any planet placed in that sign aspects the planet placed in the sign as follows. This is the rule which we need to understand. Now, signs are divided into three. Movable, fixed, and dual. Now, in the movable sign, you will see Aries always aspects Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius, whereas Cancer aspects Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus. Libra, the sign Libra, always aspects according to Gemini system Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. Capricorn, on the other hand, will always aspect Taurus, Leo and Scorpio. Now in this slide, I have mentioned the other two, fixed signs and dual sign. Now Taurus here will always aspect Cancer, Libra and Capricorn. Leo will always aspect the Libra, Capricorn and Aries. Scorpio will always aspect Capricorn, Aries and Cancer. Aquarius will aspect Aries, Cancer and Libra. In the dual sign, there are four signs in this, that is Gemini, Gemini Virgo, Sagittarius and Pisces. Gemini will aspect Virgo, Sagittarius and Pisces. Virgo will aspect Sagittarius, Pisces and Gemini. Sagittarius will aspect Pisces, Gemini and Virgo and Pisces will aspect Gemini, Virgo and Sagittarius. This if you understand, you will understand what aspect I was talking about. Now, we know this is what the rule says. For a Sanyasi yoke to form, there are four planets in one single house or you can say a single sign. This is technically a Graha Yud or it is a planetary war. So all the planets are into a planetary war. Now what happens? There, there's a possibility that they are, they are all going to be friends or they could be enemies or they could be from different with different powers controlling several houses from the one single house. Now what happens? Several planets together in a house causes an imbalance in your personality. And this particular imbalance in your personality itself will draw you away from the society. The mismatch over here, the mismatch over here of planetary forces acting in the same environment of one sign or maybe the house is very intense and it creates problem in your regular life. So let us understand who will leave the society if you are doing very well, if you are a businessman, you are, you are a professional. Would you want to leave the society and go somewhere? No. Only when you are like you know, you are totally uh, uh, like you know surrounded by you know the situations where you are you are not balanced. You will feel like leaving, going into isolation, and that itself will cause a sannyasi yoga. Now, for the tapasvi yoga, what is the condition? The ketu should be aspected by Saturn which can generate or you know very intense karma it can be it can manifest as suffering in the early life so you will have lot of suffering in the early life and that could be the cause when you want to leave everything and go the karakamsha with ketu is an internal disconnect from the existence from this particular life such a Karakamsha aspected by Saturn is going to put more restrictions on the personality which will not be conducive to happiness in your regular life. It will be frustrating and thus you will be encouraged 
to realize the eternal right so friends <clears throat> we have seen why a sanyasi or a tapasvi yog is formed what are the combinations that needs and why a person feels a disconnect from the society and he leaves everything it may even be after your marriage it may be like you know uh, uh, <clears throat> sometimes it happens that you are initial stages of your life you are doing very well but all of a sudden the situations in your uh, in your life forces you to leave everything and go somewhere in isolation this is what i just wanted to share with you and if you have liked this video if you have liked this uh, particular uh, thing that i explained to you the yoga please like this video share this video and if you have haven't yet subscribe to my channel please do so click on the notification bell icon so that the future uh, videos that i upload the notification is right there on your smartphone thanks for watching this video stay blessed god bless you